today we are headed back to Denali Park. We stopped here by the river again to get a little bit more footage. We didn't get a whole lot last time and we, we were able to actually go down and get right beside the river. So uh, hopefully you'll enjoy that. Anyway, we are just a few miles away from the entrance of Denali Park. The cool thing is they have actually opened it up to mile 30 now. The whole road into the park um, is, is like 92 miles. During normal summers, you can only drive into mile 15. From there, you can get on a free bus or pay for a guided tour bus, and they'll take you through the rest of the park. And they generally do that because there's so many people that come visit the park each year. However, because of this whole COVID-19 thing, uh, you know, basically all the tourism is shut down. Now, Alaska just lifted restrictions yesterday, actually. Um, and like I said, they have now opened up the park to mile 30. Um, and as far as we know, you know, anybody can go in and drive through up to that point. So we're going to check it out. Let's see what we can find. So we have made it to mile 30. Uh, there's a nice big area to stop and turn around at. So we parked the car. There's quite a few people out. It is Memorial Day weekend. So, uh, you know, it's, that's kind of expected. The wind is blowing pretty well. So I hope this audio is okay. Even though it's Memorial weekend, I can imagine this is a fraction of the people that would normally be here. Um, but like I said, the road is closed from mile 30 on however you can park and get out and walk or bike or whatever you know Denali Park is really kind of neat because you can kind of make your own adventure uh, you know if you see a mountain peak that you want to get to have fun take off and watch out for the bears uh, so all that being said we're gonna go up there no I'm just kidding <laughs> but we are hiking a little bit we're uh, walking down the road uh, you know, we're going to get some some other views and uh, have some fun. I know Phoebe's going to enjoy it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. So I just wanted to say good night. Yep, that's right. Good night. It's currently 1145 in the evening. Hopefully you saw that. 1145 in the evening. That's p.m. 15 minutes before midnight. And there is no filter. This is what it looks like outside. The land of the midnight sun. 
is no joke. To be honest, these days, this has been one of my best friends. Never thought I would sleep with a mask on, but it's been a huge help. As well as today's video sponsor, z -Quil. Not really, they're not sponsoring. Maybe I should check on a sponsorship. But uh, yeah, that has helped as well. I've had so much trouble the last few weeks getting to sleep. It has been ridiculous. Luckily, the sunset is on the opposite end of the house from our bedroom, you know, so the rays aren't coming right into the house. But yeah, it's crazy. Anyway, just thought I'd show you that real quick. Didn't want to stay up till midnight, but it just kind of happened that way. So I just took my dose. I'm going to bed. See ya. Good morning, everybody. It is currently Monday morning, and I am already at the church by 8 o'clock in the morning. Today is kind of exciting. We are doing some upgrades to our video system here at church. You know, this whole COVID-19 pandemic, all this stuff, uh, kind of rocked the world of many, many churches. A lot of churches went to online streaming for the first time, including us. Um, you know, we had been recording services because we broadcast on TV the week after. But when all this hit, we had to figure out a way to live stream as quickly and easily, but still with good quality as possible. Let me show you what we've been doing, and then I'll show you what we're doing now. All right, so this is our setup right now. We've got a uh, iMac computer here. Uh, this does everything. Uh, this is the centerpiece of the whole system. Uh, this is just another monitor, basically a TV. So we have been streaming with a, uh, uh, this is an iPhone. I believe it's a 7 Plus. So this iPhone is hooked up to the computer, and then the iPhone that I am currently recording on normally goes right here. So this one gets the wide shot, and this one gets the close shot. Now both of those video feeds go into this computer, along with audio from the soundboard. All that comes in here, it's mixed for the broadcast, and is sent out to the interwebs. And from the interwebs goes to Facebook and YouTube at the same time. That way people that don't have Facebook can still watch. You know, honestly, I was actually quite surprised at how, how good it looked. It's not the best setup for sure, but it has worked. In my opinion, it was actually easier than pre-recording and doing all the editing and stuff like that. We were, you know, able to just do the service live. And then it's stored as a recording and we just take that to the TV station for the next week as we've been doing. But today we're actually getting a bigger desk up here and that's gonna give us a little bit more room because we're gonna have two people up here um, running a couple of different things. We've got a, a new video switcher that came in, two new cameras. We've had the cameras for a little while but we haven't been able to use them yet because we were waiting on the switcher. Now the switcher is what lets the signal get into the computer. The iPhones just plug up. These are actual cameras, so so we had to have a way for the camera signals to get into the computer so it could make it to the internet. So I'm gonna do my best to take you guys along with me today and uh, make these upgrades, so wish us luck. All right, what's everybody? Welcome back. So we have done some upgrades. Uh, let me introduce you to Stefan real quick. Say hi, Stefan. What's up? So uh, Stefan has been helping me a lot the past several weeks. Uh, he's been running Pro Presenter with, for our lyrics. He's been running the online stream, uh, switching cameras, all that kind of stuff. And uh, just in general, an all around big help. So, but we have done some upgrades. Here's our iMac still. Um, now, instead of those iPhones, we have a couple of Canon uh, cameras, video cameras. Now, over on this side, you good? We've got, uh, oh, there's the multi-view. That's gonna, did you see that yet? Okay. <laughs> so that is a, this is a switcher. So basically the two cameras come into that as well as eventually lyrics, we're gonna to have to do a little bit at a time. And then we can switch back and forth between the cameras. Um, and then another monitor over here, just to, uh, it, that's connected to the computer for some, a couple other programs. I'll talk about that a little bit more later. Right now, 
we've got most everything hooked up. Uh, we're gonna run some tests and kind of see if we've got all this going correctly. We'll see, wish us luck.